March 18th, uh, 2024. Pisces, I hope all is well. Uh, I do want to uh, wish all the Pisces who are celebrating their birthday this week a very happy and safe birthday celebration as we are wrapping up Pisces' birthday energies. This week, Pisces, I'm using the Cosmic uh, Tarot to deliver your messages here. I had uh, decided not to do any uh, reversals. We're just going to give it a good shuffle and then we're going to begin. Also, winners have been selected for the zodiac sign that threw in the most comments. Surprisingly, there were no comments from Pisces. Well, I'm a little surprised there, but uh, it is what it is, right? It's all good. Anyway, still um, throwing in that energy where, you know, the zodiac sign that throws in the most comments. I'll select the winner. Just happens to be this past week uh, video. Libra and Sagittarius equally had um, comments, so there was two winners that were selected, so they will be uh, receiving gifts from me, and that's just from, you know, my appreciation to you guys and supporting me and my channel. Anyway, uh, let's see what's coming up for um, Pisces this week. What does Pisces have to look forward to? What's coming towards them? Also, I'm going to throw a uh, card from the Yang Yang Oracle. Uh, deck as well and that might be just some additional messages that you may need to focus on and um, connection with your uh, regular messages so energies here for Pisces was coming out for my fishes this week energies for Pisces All right, Pisces, let's begin. Let's see what's going on here, what's coming up. Prince of Swords, okay. So the Prince of Swords is basically um, the Knight of Swords. It better be the Knight of Swords because, you know, I hope it's not the Page of Swords. Sometimes, you know, when they go to rename these damn cards, it throws me off a little bit. Anyway, we got the Prince of Swords. It's the Knight of Swords. So there is going to be some uh, decisions or actions that you're going to do. This is a card of always representing some form of communication, uh, collecting your information uh, before you use that sword to strike. Now, in different decks, this is a different deck that I'm using. Most decks that I use, the knight is usually facing in the past direction. He's looking forward, so it, it could mean almost anything in terms of an action or decision uh, that may be present for you, maybe something that was related to you in your recent past, or it could be something, you know, regarding your uh, future. All right, so that's the Prince of Swords. Up next now, we have the Princess of Wands. The Princess of Wands has to be the uh, Page of Wands, okay? The Princess of Wands has to be the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands, there is an aspect of some sort of, uh, you know, news or energy coming towards you that's very positive. That could put a smile on your face this week, Pisces. Also, too, the Princess of Wands could be uh, anyone who is uh, in pursuit of starting a new hobby or some sort of creative, uh, you know, creative interest. Now, this is the beginning stages of some sort of passion that you are, um, you know, considering. Now, that could be a relationship. That could be, you know, uh, definitely your creativity or just, you know, like I said before, starting a new hobby. It's always a touch of surprise, though, when the Princess of Wands uh, comes through or the Page of Wands. Following that, we have the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is the card of uh, stress, seeking some sort of relief. Um, could be anything related to, you know, internal or external conflicting energies that could be related to your recent past or your distant past. This is always seeking some sort of relief from something that may have caused some sort of uh, greater stress for you. Now, that could be, you know, feeling like you've been betrayed by someone. That could be a family member, a friend, romantic partner. It could also be, um, you know, deception. Uh, this is a card that always represents some sort of mental or psychological abuse. Seeking some sort of relief to relieve yourself from the Nine of Swords energy through any means of prescription medications for high anxiety, depression. Could be non-prescription medication, Pisces. It could be, you know, drinking uh, too much, weed smoking, cigarette smoking, whatever. Something to ease the pain. And the worries, this is overthinking too. So this could be overthinking about a situation, person, or an event. Now, of course, I always say with the Nine of Swords uh, present in your spread, it may not be your Nine of Swords energy, but it could be that you're connected to people who are 
um, could be incarcerated. Now, you already have two people here, so that could be uh, part of that situation. All right, following the Nine of Swords, now we have the Princess of Cups. This is the Page of Cups, okay? So this is the card that always represents um, love, pregnancy news, childbirth. It could be a Pisces that I'm talking to who have entered into uh, new relationships romantically, specifically, and they're less than 30 days old. So that is the Princess of Cups. Also, too, it could be the new engagement of new romantic partnerships as well as platonic friendships. It does mirror over here to the Princess of Wands. Following the Princess of Cups, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So the money is looking strong and good. This is the card that always, you know, I, you know, relate to uh, rewarding yourself or something that you worked hard on, Pisces. This could also be a form of uh, promotion, substantial pay raises and bonus money. Uh, there is some as aspect or element of um, you being rewarded or recognized for some energy that you have given uh, to a situation. Now, that could be involving your actual work, and then you're recognized through putting in all that extra energy through your work, and then, you know, your bosses come through and promote you, give you some sort of pay raise that you're deserving of. Always the type of energy that you're deserving of something because you worked hard uh, in achieving it. Now it's time for you to sit back, relax, and just enjoy the benefits. This is also two multiple options that could be opening up for some Pisces in other areas. One of my financial independent cards as well. This is a card that always represents splurging, spending. So, you know, income tax money is coming If for those who have already filed their um, income tax. So some of you may be receiving a large amount of money. Um creating some sort of more, you know, financial stability for you. That's an aspect. Following the Nine of Pentacles here now, we have the Ace of Wands, just like the Princess of Wands. This is the card that comes through that, um, again, could carry some sort of good news that's coming in very, very fast. Uh, this is a card of uh, in being inspired or, you know, the initiating type of energy. Again, you could be pursuing a new career or a new hobby, uh, anything that could be uh, involving, you know, uh, creative energy, singing, dancing, uh, writing poetry or whatnot. And also, too, a touch of surprise. So the Ace of Wands comes through for Pisces. Also, the Princess of Cups, I'm going back here to the Princess of Cups because that could be for those Pisces also who may be celebrating their birthday this week as well. Following that, we have the Emperor. So no matter what's going on here, you will be in control. The Emperor is always about you being in control. For some of you, it may be involving some sort of court or legal matters, uh, involving you know judges, lawyers. Uh, you could be just working in that uh, field or industry. The character here, I always say, could be someone that uh, has crossed over, and it could be a father figure. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're just coming through to acknowledge they may have had some sort of dealings in the court and uh, legal system, as well as serving some sort of time in the, uh, you know, armed forces. This also could be a police officer. With the emperor being present here, this is also two boss mode. So you may ask to lead uh, others looking up to you, having to oversee uh, a group of people or whatnot. Could be in the form of a promotion, like I said, with the nine of pentacles. Okay. Then we have the lovers. Okay. Ooh, we got the lovers here. So the lovers is always the type of energy where if it's in your spread Pisces, you know, regardless that it sits underneath that nine of swords, you really don't have any problems that you should be dealing with because it's an even number. Or I'm sorry. It's an even playing field. So, you know, the people that you're interacting with, whether it's romantic partners, friends, um, you know, uh, family members, you shouldn't have any, um, you know, problems dealing with those people. Um, it could be, you know, romantic partnerships, of course, being uh, accentuated here. Someone still could be getting married. Um, business partnerships, of course, they could be all formed. All forms of relationships could be, um, you know, formed with the lovers being present. Pro, uh, yeah, platonic, romantic, business being on the same page, seeing eye to eye with one another. That's the lovers. Up next now, we have the king of wands, all right? You're focused on something or someone and you're going after it. Strong uh, amount of energy here could be a, a boost or a surge of uh, creative energy for those Pisces who are, you know, we already have the ace of wands. 
um, you know, it may be attached to that energy. It may be that you're drawing towards um, something or you're attracting something very strong underneath the Prince of Cups. It could be the a relationship. It's always the aspect of um, passion, a great deal of intensity, you know, definitely representing sexual energy and sexual expression. Last card I have for you, Pisces, is now you have the Prince of Cups. This is the Knight of Cups. Wow, you have a lot of people here. You have a lot of people. And in spite of that Nine of Swords, I don't want that to be the main focus for, you know, it's, you know, I can always say in previous readings that the Nine of Swords, the Tower, the Three of Swords, they're not here for everybody once they show up. But when they do show up, it's for somebody who knows exactly why that energy is here. So the Prince of Cups is all about that relationship. So you could be spending the quality time um, with your um, significant other. I was just looking at the Prince of Wands here because I want to make sure that that's not the Page of uh, Swords. Not the Page of Wands, but the Page of Swords. All right, so anyway, the Prince of Cups is here, and that is the Knight of Cups. I would assume that that's the Knight of Swords. And it's about relationships, right? So it could be the job offer. It could be um, those Pisces who are already engaged in romantic relationship, with, or you're enjoying the aspect of that relationship because you're uh, getting some sort of emotional feelings, satisfaction, contentment, love, of course, uh, mutuality. And it also could be the... Um, Re, you know, not the reuniting, but it could be the uniting of new relationships. You already got the Princes of Cups. All right, so that's what I have for you this week. And just like the Princes of Cups, the Prince of Cups could also come in through those Pisces that are celebrating their birthday. All right, so I'm just going to throw one card from the Yin Yang Oracle. Now, this is just a message that you may um, need to, you know, focus more uh, energy to. All right, and I'm just going to give my interpretation. There are some words written on the card here, and I'll try to express that to you the best that I can, depending on what is selected for you. All right, what is going on? Additional messages for Pisces. All right, so the card selected for you, Pisces, is the uh, thoughts and isolating. Okay, so thoughts and isolating may have, um, you know, somewhat to do with you having to gather your thoughts, put your thoughts in content. Maybe that you need to isolate yourself and to get those thoughts together, whatever the situation that you may be uh, dealing with or could be involved with this week. It may just be some time for you to detach and be alone by yourself so that you can get your thoughts together. All right, so that's what I have here for you from the uh, yin yang oracle message all right pisces just remember it's all, only me interpreting the cards you guys take what's going to work for you um leave the rest out you guys have a safe great week ahead for those who are celebrating your birthday once again uh happy birthday be safe um comment on the videos you know like share subscribe um just always come back to get more of these messages here uh pisces um and i will talk to you soon take care bye Mm-hmm. <clears throat>